Blaney all pitted on that lap as well. So Jeff Burton has become the leader with Matt Kenseth behind. Here's Dick. Uh, Jeff Burton's on his way in, and Frank Stoddard, the crew chief, has just told him nice and smooth, guys. Four tires. Mark Armstrong, just before this race began, assembled this entire pit crew behind the war wagon, and he told them all, he said there are a lot of races to win, but this one is special. We have the car. Let's all pull together and do it. These guys working hard, trying to win a race for their fallen crew. Speeding, 
and be back with that pack. They're in the middle of three and four right now. Yeah, that speed limit what kills them. It just takes so long to come from the far end of the pit road all the way down through there. And that pit stop was about three seconds too long. We're about to see the effect of that. Well, he's got to top it. I mean, he's got to take a two full cans of fuel. So I mean, he can't just get a half a can of the second half of the second one and go. They had a little trouble on the right front, and here. <laughs> comes the uh, four o'clock express he's in turn two this pack's coming and i mean they are coming in a hurry they're coming into turn two right now but the there's last, enough of them he'll be able to blend in somewhere the last time he did this six cars went by and he was able to get into line in seven Let's see what happens here i don't believe there's a hole in seven right no. now well look back, but there's no room for him he's going to get cars to help him go there's not enough room for all of them to go by at once all right there's his teammate mark martin right there the six car if he can get down there but i believe mark just got too much momentum he's going to have to go by on the high side right there there's just not a hole to get into like there was earlier john andretti dips underneath because kenseth is still not up to full speed it takes Whoa. over it takes over a lap to get up to speed and he pays the price he pays the price that time matt kenseth crosses the line in 25th position 114 caution-free laps in the Aaron's 499 on Fox, presented by Pepsi. Hey, at Talladega, debris in turn four has put us under the yellow. All the teams had just made green flag pit stops. They all came right back in again. I don't think there was any. I think they just wanted a break. I think the drivers all told them on that pit stop, let's have, we need a break out here. Three cars did not stop. Matt Kenseth, Jimmy Spencer, Ryan Newman. But see these group right here, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Michael Waltrip, Dale Jarrett, just topping that tank off the field. They've been out there only about 10 or 11 laps, so no need for tires. Just go ahead and fill that thing with fuel. Why? Because at the end of the race, when you have to make another green flag stop, and I don't think anyone can make it from here, you'll spend less time on pit road in your pit box, less fuel to put in. I don't think anybody can make it from here, but how good a mileage is that 17 car get? And, and cautions will help. And he just went from 27th on the last lap we ran under green to first because he didn't have to stop. If I see him, I'd come in and top back up. Perhaps. Down toward turn one, not right here in the middle of the trioval as it is at Daytona. Pace car speed, 70 miles an hour. Bring them down. Pace car is green. off. That's the, start, that's the uh, restart area right there in the center of the trioval. Look at it climb. Already over 100 miles an hour. Almost 120 by the time they get to the start-finish line. And it will continue to climb all the way around this racetrack and even then some, Darrell. Yeah, it'll probably be back to the start-finish line again before he gets to full speed. And some great news as Matt Kenseth leads this race. His car owner, Jack Roush, injured in a plane crash Friday evening, has his condition at University Hospital in Birmingham upgraded from critical to serious. So, very good news. Yes. Very much so. Our prayers are certainly with Jack and his entire family and organization. And here at the end of the backstretch, 185 miles an hour over to turn three. Falls down a little bit right there, only a couple of miles higher in the middle of three and four. Junior to second and looking for the lead, Kenseth, to block, as they say on the squares. Close the door. Just kind of close the door. Ryan right, Newman go, go from second to about six by the time they get to the start finish line. Steve Burns. Mike, with Robbie Riser. Robbie, you guys seem to be getting great gas mileage. Tell us about your strategy. Well, we're getting a little better gas mileage in there. Right now. All the guys pitted. They were around us, kept us in the draft, so I just stayed out there. And, uh, you know, same, same with the second stop here when they did that again. Stayed out because they had the guards all around, so we running the same speed. So, really didn't have nothing to lose except for just, you know, if we could have got the caution a little earlier, we'd be on our own lap. So, uh, you know, the walk board's running good. It's just, hell of a day, you got to draft your way through, the, through there, and uh, that's what we're doing. All right, let's go to Matt Yoko. Steve, Matt Borland is Ryan Newman's crew chief. Matt, why did you stay out and not come in and at least top off? Drivers who pulled off that feet, and you can hear by the crowd, someone has retaken the lead. Now, this is a little.
little different. This time, when Earnhardt Jr. went with Michael Walter, Michael could not stay with him at yeah, the front. Kansas got a pretty fast car. I mean, he's able to hang right there. <laughs> uh, you wonder what blocking looks like? <laughs> now, Kansas has help from his Roush teammate, the Ford of 97, Kurt Busch. We'll see how strong Dale Earnhardt Jr. in that eight-car Budweiser car is right here, because he's being ganged up by those Fords right now. Look at that. One, two, five. three, four, five of them. Ryan Newman in the middle. You know what we haven't done today? Uh-oh. Crank it up. 20,000 horsepower. Man. Michael just got cracked in eight. So 